Hello guys, here is Olya and my blog about Ukraine. In this video I want to tell you about childbirthing in Ukraine. Um, a lot of you know that I became a mom a few weeks ago and I want to share with you some my impression and I think this video will be the most interesting for medical students and people who are interested in medical system in Ukraine and also for everyone maybe I, you're welcome to listen this movie. Um, I try to be and short in my video and tell the most interesting information for you. At first it's hospital uh, where we can born a child in Ukraine. In Ukraine there is special hospital only for pregnant women and for born in a child. So it's not the same hospital where there's people with different problems with health and like special department. Uh, no, we have special hospital only for pregnant women and for born in a child in Ukraine. It's about hospital, yeah. room where we born a child. There is different type of hospital in Ukraine, old style and new style. Uh, with old style, there is different room for different process of childbirthing. For example, when you have a child pangs, you have you are in one room, then in real process of burning child next room and then you go to next room when you are already born a child and you're with your child and do everything all this stuff it's like all type of uh, hospital and we have a lot of them in ukraine also we have new type of hospital where is one room you come to this and stay in this room all of this process I was in new type of hospital and now I will show you my room. Uh, my room was, I think, the most poor, <laughs> the modest uh, in the, this hospital because I didn't have any uh, problem with pregnancy, I didn't have any problem with uh, born in a child and that's why this room was very, very modest. We have different here in the hospital and uh, if I need some help, uh, some equipment and something else, I will be in other room. Um, the next one, uh, clothing. Uh, you see I'm very weird clothes, it's not mine, it's all from hospital. Uh, so in the process of burning a child, we use their, their clothing and also when I born a child, they gave me special clothes for uh, my child. And just after I go to, uh, like after burning a uh, room, I can use my clothes, I can use clothes for my babe, everything what you want. And in this room they gave me everything. They gave me all medicine which I need and all of this stuff, so I didn't buy anything. Um, natural burning or C-section. In Ukraine uh, we support everything natural. So uh, natural burning and without any anesthetics and everything else. So if you a uh, c-section can be in ukraine only if a woman in any case can't born child natural in any case so they use c-section uh, so we can't uh, say oh i don't want to feel this pain i'm afraid for example of something else i want to be uh, <laughs> with makeup and with good hair uh, just come make us do the c-section and that's all so we don't have this in Ukraine. Only natural burning and no doctor allow you C-section if you don't have real problem with your health. Uh, about anesthetics, um, we use epidural uh, anest anesthesi, but um, you need to have real very very big problem to use it. So just uh, if you want, nobody do this for you, I think. I didn't have such a big pain, so I even don't ask for this, but I think even if I ask, they say no. <laughs> Just that's my opinion, because epidural um, anesthesia it's not very widespread in Ukraine. I don't know why, because all the world use it, but in Ukraine it's not so widespread. Uh, partners uh, childbirthing. Uh, in Ukraine, uh, everyone supports a uh, born in which, uh, child with partners. It can be, of course, your husband, but if your husband is afraid, it can be your mom, sister, friend, or anyone else. But since the, the beginning of um, pregnancy, 
uh, they always tell you, doctors tell you that you must have partners in your childbirth and you need to have a partners. Uh, there is a lot of school for partner childbirth and, and they always tell you that like you have right to refuse but by default you need to have a partner in childbirth. And I tell this because I when I um, uh, when I prepare for childbirth, and when I prepare for this process, I uh, see a lot of blogs, uh, a lot of different blogs, and of course a lot of uh, uh, girls was from Russia, and I understand that in Russia uh, they don't have um, like uh, partner birthing by default, like in Ukraine, and uh, they have some hospital who, which allows this, and have some hospital which don't allow this. In Ukraine, they always tell you use only take your partner to the burning child and that's all. Uh, after childbirth, after childbirth we go to special room, we like live in special room for three days uh, only with child. So you can be alone with your child, you can be also with your husband. So there is different types of room. And um, all, all the time uh, there is a lot of uh, doctors come to you, a lot of doctors come to your child, nurses always come to you and ask if you have some problems because when they... Um, when you come home, you need to know everything and you need to do everything. So they help you if you don't know how to use diapers, if you know don't know how to check temperature, if you don't know any other things. So they always ask you if you know everything, if you have problem, if you have problem with feeding baby, maybe or she crying, you, you don't know what to do. They show you everything, everything, everything. And uh, they always smile to me and it was very beautiful because Really, they showed me everything and when I returned home, I didn't have problem with my child and I didn't have problem that I don't know what to do. They showed me everything. Uh, also, um, after I come home, um, my doctor, like we have special doctor for children, uh, she comes to me every week at home and see if everything is good with child. Um, she checks some reflexes, uh, she checks some other things, I don't know what they do. And also she showed me what to do, how to do massages, uh, how to um, have a bath with children and other stuff. Uh, so uh, doctors come to me every week. And also I have children nurse. She also comes to my home sometimes and I have her phone, uh, phone number, so if I have any problem, I need to call her and tell that um, I have this and this and this problem, what I need to do. All of these services is free in Ukraine, so we didn't pay for this. Of course, you can, um, as I said, you can pay for better attention for you, for everything else. But I didn't pay anything for childbirths, I didn't pay anything for um, doctors who come to my home because that's their responsibilities. Uh, I showed you some uh, pictures also from hospital, shows my room and hope it will be interesting and some kind of informative, informative for you. If you know how is process of childbirth in, in um, your, in your countries and if something is weird for you, you are welcome to write me in comments because it will be very interesting for you of course to know how it's all of this organized in your country. Thank you for watching this video guys, waiting for your comments.